Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marque of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. And like I said, I'm capturing the story of Easter, looking at Easter through different, different angles. And here's the interesting thing. Today, I, I want to capture my thoughts with the words, stony jailbreak. Now, now, now here's the interesting story. Now, here's Jesus that you, you, you tried, and here's Jesus that you, you lashed and you crucified, and here's Jesus that died, and you made sure that he was dead by piercing his side with your spear. And I mean, and the man, you carried him limp from the distance. You knew he was dead. And then you bury him. And then when you bury him, you put, you put a stone and you seal the stone. And then you set soldiers there to guard him. That's what they did. And I'm saying, wow. Now, now you look at it carefully. You've tried the man for what he did not do. You arranged a kangaroo court that tried him and made sure that he was guilty even though he was, he was not guilty. Then you, you, you try to wash your bloody hands, I mean, from guilt, but it, that won't go away anyway because it, it will stay there. And then you, 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 you murder him, you put him on a cross, you nail him to a cross, and just when he said he was, he was dying, and he asked for water, you gave him vinegar, whatever it is, and, and, and murder. And then you, you go one more step further, you know, to, to uh, pierce his side with a spear, and said the way that blood and water came out, that made, the man was dead, dead, dead. Yet when he is buried, and there you are, you are afraid. You, you, put him in a, uh, you put him in a tomb, you roll a big stone over there, and then not only just roll the stone, you set soldiers to keep watch. <laughs> Can I tell you something? They knew that something can happen. One way or the other, there was a, there was a feeling. There, there, there was this niggling feeling that, hey, when it comes to this man, because God is with him and God is on his side, something can happen. The unexpected can happen. And no matter what we have done, the unexpected can happen. They were living on expectation of the unexpected. And that's what I came to tell you. Let them do whatever they want to do to you. There's a niggling feeling that this guy, if we're not very careful, this guy is going to come up on top. So here's the interesting thing. Though they're trying different things, they're doing different things to try and finish you, there is a fear within them that he's going to rise up. And I'm comforted by the word that says, Rejoice not over me, O my enemy, for even if I go down seven times, I am going to rise up. So here's the thing. They knew there was a fear. So can I tell you something? Those who are throwing the spears at you, those who are piercing your side, those who think you're dead and buried, those who think you're finished, they know that, uh-uh, uh-uh. It's just a matter of time. Why? Because they know the hand of God is upon you. And they know that God doesn't make an investment and for that investment to lie to waste. One way or the other, he will finish what he started because his name is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. And whatever he starts, he will finish. Listen, the tomb is not your end. And they know it. There's a niggling fear. There's a niggling feeling they have that the tomb is not your end. And they know that so far as God is on the throne, the unexpected can happen. So you know what? You are a candidate for the unexpected visitation of God. You are a candidate for the unexpected. So for me, this particular Easter, I'm saying, hey boy, everyone get ready. Something unexpected. Something that they know. They were expecting the unexpected. And so here's the principle. Don't throw up your arms in, dis in despair. The grave is not your end. What men dug, what people pulled you in, or what people put you in, the prison they put you in, is not your end. Even when they are doing it, they are, there's a niggling feeling, there's a slight fear that the tables can turn and this person will come up on top. Come on, let me clap for you. You are a candidate for the unexpected. You are a candidate, you are an expected candidate for the unexpected. Wow, 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 wow.
So you know what? Do not be dis do not hold yourself in despair. No, lift up your eyes. Something good is on the way, and they know it. See you later.